Joey? Yeah. We got a lot of cool stuff here, right? I guess you could call that's it a, one or two. That's a copo. <laughs> <laughs> number one of 69 in the world. I think uh, you got number 33 on that one. Well, that's my number. You know that. Yeah. This is kind of cool too. Number three. It's not quite 33, but I'd rather have VIN number three CTF pilot car. Number I have no three clue number one 58. or two are. So think of it that way. This could be number one. Well, you think about the fact that a well-known Chevrolet dealer paid almost a million dollars to get the first ZR1? That was built four months earlier. Woo! So I can get that for 125 No. For you, 126 <laughs> <laughs> So where are we going, Mike? We're going to Area 51. We're looking oh, at the spacecraft. What's, what do we got hiding over here? <laughs> We got good stuff. Hey, you know, what we're going to talk about, you know, we got a feature to talk about, which is kind of cool. Absolutely. So Tell me what we got. Before we head over there, what I want to do is I want to show you um, front, in, front engine car, mid engine car. So from the center of the front wheel to the front of the front bumper, you know, it's pretty short in this one. So when you go to a mid engine car, um, let's come on, check it out. I can uh, show you the difference here. Look at Jim left his scooter over here. Ah, perfect visual. Yeah. And so, I've got my handy dandy tape measure too to give us a little illustration. Nice. Now, real quick, MJ, from the center of the front wheel to here on a mid-engine car, it's substantially longer than like the C7. Six, like six inches different, right? Yeah. I mean, so if you've driven a mid-engine car, you're kind of used to how this is prone to scrape, you know? And on a C7 driver, they might ha might have like a driveway or something that they kind of scratch once in a you while. Got a curb going up in your driveway? Yeah. So they think that, you know, oh, well, it's not really an issue, so I don't really need anything different. I'm going to just set my car up and spec it the same At way. At C7s, when they had that carbon fiber splitter, Yeah. It's so how many times do we see them scrape? Yeah. You know, what do you think that, that runs? Two grand? I think it it was like 3500 bucks yeah so it's not cheap it's no cheap date but they did something on this car to actually mitigate that and it's it by the way they took it to a whole nother level right so the car hey, will raise up right well i think it's just let's show it we got our first car to show everybody and it's in your showroom so let's show them well, let's um, do it i'm going to use jimmy's scooter good Sorry, visual jimmy. But um, what I want to do is I want to show you how the front lift works and it's so important. Why it's so important. We've already realized that this mid-engine car is roughly six inches longer on the front. So I'm going to fire this up. This sounds a little better than us. <laughs> you sure this car is sold? We could go out and... It's leaving in about 20 Run minutes, in. so we got to get this bit, in. You know, but okay, whatever. So I'm going to fire this into drive, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the car raises two inches, just over two inches, and watch how fast this is. Hydraulic pump, and you look how fast this thing will come up. Look at how fast Bam, done. So the driveway is really not an issue. Some of those parking spots for speed bumps. Look at how fast that lifts too parking spots or speed bumps aren't an issue but they took it to another level yeah so How'd they do that so when you go to the 2lt you get gps navigation what that does is it gives it pinpoint locations that you can lock in and you can raise the car you can set it once and when it approaches that area it naturally raises set for it you. and forget it yeah so you're pulling into that driveway you got that hump that curb well there it goes back down again and the car is just going to raise up for you once you set it, and you're never going to have to worry about it again, right? It knows it. Well, parts department's going to be bummed out because they're not going to be selling many carbon fiber splitters. Yeah. <laughs> but that's I mean, all good with us. But guys, for $14.95, I mean, it's such a value. You yeah, know, I really, I really think the bread and butter is a 2LT with that $14.95 front lift. Yeah. You know, on a, on a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, it's probably a $6,000 option. So um, I just think that it's smart to protect your car. Well... And for a car to be this exceptional, I'll tell you what, that's a cheap date to make sure that this thing remains scratch free yeah. and it stays looking like it's supposed to, just like this. What this lucky mean? gentleman is coming in today to take this home, right? Yeah, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Well, I'll tell you what, he's a lucky guy. Congratulations. This is the first delivery of a C8 to Tim Allen Chevrolet and we are expecting a truck today to drop off uh, two, three more. and. We've got a whole bunch built that are going to be coming in because, you know, this is what we do. 
Yeah. We're Corvette guys. Keep us posted. Hey, by the way, I'm Mike Lally. I'm the dealer here at Tim Lally Chevrolet. But that guy is Joey Hurtuck. That's the man. He knows Corvettes way better than I do. So if you have any questions, get a hold of us here at Tim Lally Chevrolet. We like stuff that goes fast. Have a great one. Thank you.